In this video, I want to show you how to set up in-play trading for the BFBot Manager. This will give you more live scores, more in-play data, and also give you the ability to use the IPT pressure index. What is in-play trading? Well, for BFBot Manager users, the in-play trading subscription will give you a more advanced live score data feed for matches that are on Betfair. Right now, if you're using the BFBot Manager, if you go to the market screen, you'll probably notice there are some matches where there is no in-play data, where there's no live scores. What the in-play trading subscription does is it tries to fill in those gaps. Here is a screenshot from my BFBot Manager. Now I have the in-play trading data feed. You can see the orange boxes. Those are the 16 matches that I get live score data free with the data feed that comes with the BFBot Manager, but there's still a lot of gaps in the live score data. But now with the in-play data feed, it filled in the gaps for another 13 matches, and you can see those highlighted in green. But even then, there were still six matches where there's no live score. You can see them in red, but it nearly doubled the amount of live score matches I had. So basically, IPT, the in-play trading data feed, it fills in the gaps for the live scores that the BFBot Manager often has. And that's become more important to me because I have two winning draw systems at the moment. And people already following my systems will know, yep, I've got the better minute draw system and the betting systems guide draw system. The better money draw system is making about 70 points per month on average, and the betting system's guide draw system is making about 50 points per month on average. And in each of those bot sets, they do a lot of in-play betting, and the in-play bets actually tend to have a better return on investment, a better yield than the pre-match bets. So having more in-play data is really important for my systems, and that's why I've decided to go ahead and pay for an extra subscription to the in-play trading data feed. And if you do get that in-play trading data feed, that also means you can use the IPT data rules condition in the BFBot Manager to make new in-play bots that use the extra data and statistics that's going to be available to you. I'm very interested in the pressure index and the average pressure index, which are unique custom indexes that the IPT team have created. So I'm going to be playing around with them for the next few days, and I'm going to make another video about how to use those later on. But just for the moment, I wanted to show you how to set this up. To set up the in-play trading subscription on your BFBot Manager, well, first of all, you need to go and register on their website, the in-play trading website. The link is in the video description below. And then on their website, you need to make a payment for the subscription that you want. So you can go to their website and then register on their website and they have a special offer where you can try it for even just £1 for one day. So you could try it just on a Saturday or a Sunday on a busy day and see, see how it works for you. The other subscriptions they have available are for uh, two weeks for £18, a month for £33, three months for £89, and six months for £161. They do also have a one-year subscription, which I asked them about, which costs £239, and that brings the monthly price down to £20, and that, I, re I recommend that one. Once you've registered and created an account on the InPlay Trading website, then you will be able to go to your My Account page and click on Subscription Plans, and then you will see the four most common subscription plans, two weeks, one month, three months, six months, and you can pay by PayPal, or by Skrill, or by NetTeller. If you want a one-year subscription, then use the contact page and send them a message saying you want to have the one-year subscription plan. And then they'll tell you how to make a payment for that. Once you've made a payment for the subscription you want, then you need to contact them and tell them your IPT username. And also tell them that you're using the BFBot Manager, so that then they will give you permission for two simultaneous connections to the in-play trading data feed. You need two connections because one will be for your BFBot Manager software and another one will be for your browser because they have a very interesting tool that you can view through your browser that I really recommend using to practice things manually before you make some new in-play trading automated bots. So you need two connections at absolute minimum. If you need more than two simultaneous connections, for example, if you have a BPS and a home computer running BFBot Manager, and then you also want to use a browser to view their other tools, then you'll need three simultaneous connections. Or if you've got two VPSs and one home computer and also using a browser and you need four, 
then you'll need to contact them and ask them about that. And if you purchase a one-year subscription, then you can get up to four simultaneous connections. For any shorter subscriptions, then you can get two simultaneous connections. So even on the two week or the one month subscription, you can still still get two simultaneous connections, permission for two, two logins, and then you'll be able to run your BFBOP Manager software and also access your in-play trading account through your browser. Once in-play trading confirmed that your account has been approved, then enter your in-play trading username and password in the BFBOP Manager in-play trading form. In the BFBOT Manager software, go to the Tools and Settings tab and click on Third Party Integrations. Uh, this button only appears in the latest version of the BFBOT Manager. If you don't have this button, that means you have an older version. So please update your BFBOT Manager. So to set up the integration, click on the Third Party Integrations in the Tools and Settings and then go to the In-Play Trading part left click on I have an account and then here enter your username and then your password and then click test and save login details. This will now mean you have the in-play trading data feed coming into your BFBot Manager. How do you know if you're getting it? Well, if you take a look in your market screen and then you'll see the usual live scores with the time next to it. When you see a live score with a time next to it, this is information from the free data feed, the free live score free feed that comes with the BFO Manager. When you see a live score with no time, no weather next to it, this is a live score that you've received just from having the in-play trading subscription. And that's how you'll know how many gaps you're getting filled. With the BFBOT Manager, they have this magnifying glass here that if you left, left click on, you get the in-play statistics. And that's for the free feed that comes with the BFBOT Manager. There is also one for the in-play trading data, but you need to add that column in. So right click on the column header, click on column chooser, and then select in-play trading statistics. Double left click on this and it will appear. Um, it usually will appear first time on the far right. And then if you want to move its position, just left click and hold, move it across, and then you can move that column wherever you want in your market screen. And then if I left click on that, I will get the in-play trading data for this match. So if I didn't have a subscription to in-play trading, I wouldn't be able to get this information. And you can see it has the uh, the indexes here. And I'll explain the inde what the indexes are in my next video. But just for now, you see um, here is the data. So you will have in-play data from the free feed, the in-play data from the in-play trading feed, and then there will still be a couple of matches where there just is no feed, but the, usually these will be very minor matches with low liquidity, and I, I probably won't miss them. So that's how to set up the in-play trading data feed on your BFBot Manager. If you are using my draw systems, then you will need to edit the bot sets in order to be able to take advantage of the in-play trading data feed. What you need to do there is go into the market conditions football match minute rule and delete that and replace it with a market conditions football in-play statistics in-play trading rule and then tell it to bet between 5 and 89 minutes in play. We only need to change this for the B3, B4 and B5 bots because they are betting in play and that will keep it, that will allow it to bet from 5 minutes to 89 minutes during the game. So for example, if you're using the Better Minute Draw System bot set that I made and gave you, then to edit that, open it up, go to the marking conditions and we can see the football match minute rule and we need to delete this but first pause the bot don't let it keep betting when you're changing rules pause the bot and delete that match minute rule this is the rule that let it lets it bet from 5 to 89 minutes and then we are now going to add a rule the football in play statistics in play trading in play scanner rule and then here it's this top rule here allow betting when following rules are satisfied total minutes. This is how they've done it. They've put all the statistics together into one drop down menu. So the, the time to bet is actually here. Total minutes is within a range of 5 to 89 minutes. 
So this is their time to bet rule in play. So when the total minutes are within 5 and 89 minutes, it will allow betting. So I click save on this. So this is my new time to bet rule for this. And then I can start up again. And you need to change that for the B3, B4 and B5 bots because they are the three in-play bots. And if you're using the BSG draw system, you also need to edit the B3, B4, B5 bots for that as well. So remember, you need to get rid of, of the football match minute rule and add the football in-play statistics rule and make sure it's set to total minutes are in the range of 5 to 89. And then you're all set up with that draw system. Thank you for watching my video. If you're interested in automated betting, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you go to my website, bettingsystemsguide.com, you can see what my betting systems are, how to set them up, how to use them, and how I automate my betting with the BFBot Manager, with Tipping Sports, and now with InPlay Trading. Thank you for watching.